Today, you wanted me to present to you guys about engineering is that I'm really interested in engineering. That's what I want to do when I get older. I'm going to go off to college next year for engineering. So hopefully my presentation will kind of inspire you to want to know more about the profession. Now that I want you guys to know what an engineer is. So they apply scientific knowledge, mathematics, creativity to develop solutions for technical problems, and then personal minds to create links between science, technology, and society. So basically what they do is they take what they know, they think about how to use it, and they fix problems and they make the world better. So if it sounds like anything you guys like to do, then just keep, keep listening. So um, in groups, so like, that yeah, table could be a group. We split that table in two, and this table could be a group. Um, make a list of 10 objects that have been engineered or like that have had an engineer play a part in their making. So you just have like, been engineered by Okay. <laughs> 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 they're they're all pretty. Yes, we are. A steamboat, a tire, an iPhone, computers, cars, planes, chargers, cans, cloth, pencils, tables, buildings, and just really any type of technology. That's 12 we're gonna overachieve. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one, yeah. I love that that's 12 we're gonna achieve. <laughs> Golden Gate Bridge, car, boat, jet ski. That says you just can't always have the number you Yeah, exactly. Oh, it is a U. U.S. Capitol. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm going to get Bridge too. This is weird that you guys said that. But it's over 9,000 feet. It's two miles long. Straight across San Francisco Bay. Misconception that engineering is like this male dominated field and it's like testosterone laden. It's not, there's girls there. So if you're a girl and you're interested in engineering, look at your girls in here. Um, don't be afraid. So once you get into engineering, there's a ton of different like subtopics, and these can even like cross into each other. So uh, write these down because we're going to take quiz later over them. So, um, I'm kidding, I'm kidding about the quiz. So uh, they construct, they design, construct, and maintain buildings and structures and all kinds of stuff really like transport engineers. They design last one. Uh, yeah, these are the four main branches of engineering, but there's like a lot of us that they kind of cross and don't fall into one category. So electrical engineers, they take their knowledge of electricity, circuitry, and electromagnetism, and uh, you know, manipulate it to make things that we can use, like computers and those iPhones that everybody loves. Um, and because these are all kind of like mouthfuls to say, usually they'll abbreviate them. So this would be like Chem E, Mech E, Sid E, and electrical engineering, the double E, just to get you guys in on some engineering lingo. Um, Something funny I found is that mechanical engineers always think they're right. I found like all these pictures about it. So I'm a, I'm a mechanical engineer to save time. Let's just assume that I'm never wrong. So if that sounds like you, you guys are never wrong, and you just you think you just get things, then engineering has a spot for you for sure. <laughs> so why become an engineer? Well, it's fun. I think you have to think certain things are fun. I guess. Like solving real world problems, uh, thinking analytically really collaborative. Like engineers really understand that not one person can accomplish a task always. Most of the time they can't. And it takes a lot of different perspectives to deliver the best result. Um, I think stuff like that's fun, a Rubik's Cube. I love my Rubik's Cubes. You have to be into stuff like that to enjoy engineering. So it's kind of a select crowd, I guess. Um, there's a lot of opportunities if you're going into engineering. There's a high demand in the world right now, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. 
Uh, and they're, they're like, you can go anywhere, really. It's a large nonprofit industries. And lastly, it's a really rewarding career because in the end, what you're doing is solving problems to help people. And that just makes everyone better. And who doesn't want to do that for people? It's just not a good feel. So I want to read you this about the man who works in stuff. I think it's really important. It's a quote from Rodney C. Atkins, a, the senior vice president of IBM Systems and Technology Group. If you don't know IBM, they're like this really popular tech company. You've probably seen one of their laptops or computers or something. Anyways, so it says, to advance our economy and our society, and our society we need to create the next great technology innovations, not just consume them. That's why there is such urgency for the U.S. to develop a stronger workforce of experts in science, technology, engineering, and math. Which After all, according to the U.S. Department of Labor, only 5% of the U.S. workers are employed in fields related to science and engineering, yet they are responsible for more than 50% of our sustained economic expansion. So that's really significant, I think. So that means that, like, that's a lot of work for those workers, and they need more help. So think about it. Like, you know. <laughs> Help these guys out. Um, also, STEM-related degrees represent only about a third of all the bachelor's degrees, so four-year college degrees, if you guys don't know that, or in the U.S. And then in Japan, China, and Singapore, that ratio is more than one in two. So that just kind of says how, in the world, our country is kind of falling behind in STEM-related stuff. And we can't do that because the world is always moving toward like techno technological innovations. So we have to stay ahead if we want to progress in this world. So yeah, because there's such a, they want more help, this 5%, there's a lot of money involved for engineers. So I want you guys to look at that for a second. This is from Michigan, technologically above 75K, and then you get the top 20, top 10%, and you make it six figures, which is great. And then the top paying majors for 2012 college graduates from Forbes magazine. Um, all pretty good. Pretty good. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six are, they have engineering right in the name. Um, science, science, science. Three of them have science in the name. <coughs> Finance is basically math. So pretty much all these are STEM related in some way. So you should probably get yourself involved in that. Get where the money is now. So to be an engineer, you gotta have the right stuff. I don't know if you guys ever heard that, but it's like you gotta have the right kind of personality. So first step is curiosity. Just have like you know, a, a desire to want to know more. Electronic game. I just took it apart just to see how it looked. I don't know what was going on there, but it was kind of cool. Um, <laughs> creativity. Engineers aren't just math and science people. So they have to draw up designs for buildings or landscapes, whatever. And then there's computer-aided design classes, CAD, and so it'll, it, they teach you how to like build houses or bridges, or whatever, online. Not online, but on this program that makes it a lot easier. But it definitely involves creativity. Um, like I said earlier, kind of with curiosity, you have to figure things out and solve problems. That's the biggest part of it, just solving problems. Because um, a lot of things, a lot of easy fixes you can just do like around your house. You don't need to be like a genius to do it. Just like, you know, stick a like a coaster under a ch chair leg to fix it from rocking. You know, just like simple stuff like that, really. Um, so in school, it's important that you're going to take these kind of technology classes if you want to go down this track, just to show like colleges and yourself, you know, if you like it. Take the harder ones. That means more to colleges, by the way. If you take the hard ones and don't do as well as if you took an easy one and did like fine, college is going to see you push yourself. So don't be afraid to take those hard classes. Which brings me to my next point. Okay. The standard is pretty much a bachelor's degree, so a four-year college degree. Um, yeah, it's going to be hard to find an engineering job without that because so many people have it now. And once you do get it, it's like you got a lot of options. So here's just a list of some colleges and universities you guys might be interested in for engineering. There's University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, which is like 45 minutes from here, and it's a really good engineering school, top ranked. Um, Illinois Institute of Technology, 
Augustana, those are all around here. Going a little bit further out, Purdue, and Indiana is top ranked, like top 10 engineering schools. Michigan Technological Institute, Missouri University of Science and Technology, Missouri s &T. Those are all really good schools, kind of local. Or was it like a state or two? And then these really, like, these on the right side are the, the top, top engineering schools. If you guys don't think so that far. And there's Stanford, out in California, maybe you've heard of the football team. Caltech, MIT, uh, UC Berkeley, Georgia, Georgia Tech, and Carnegie Mellon. A lot of these out in California. I'm not totally sure why. California's just really cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, don't be afraid to shoot for these, because they're, they're pretty awesome. Uh, I'm going to take a second to talk about the mascot for MIT and Caltech, and maybe somewhere else, is the beaver. They say beaver is nature's engineer. So uh, if you ever felt like your spirit animal was a beaver? <laughs> <laughs> So after you get out of college, there's going to be, you're going to want a job, obviously. That's why you go to college. And, uh, and so there's going to be several different companies that you're going to go after. So there's Microsoft, Amazon, uh, Science Applications International Corporation. A lot of people don't know about that, but it's, it's definitely out there. Apple. Ooh, yeah. I see that. Oh, yeah. Apple, yeah. Um, Hewlett Packard, they make laptops and computers and other stuff. Lockheed Martin, I think they are uh, aerospace. Yeah. Um, Oracle, that's computer science. Northrop Grumman, another aerospace. Dell, more computers. The point is, there's going to be all these companies flying at your face with job offers <laughs> if you get an engineering degree. Because there's just so many options. And that's a, that's a great problem to have on all these. People want you, and you just don't know who to Oh, and Intel, I forgot Intel. Is Google included? Is what? Google. Google, yeah, Google. I don't know why I didn't put Google in there. That should have been Google. Samsung, too. You guys can name one. It's all. Intel and Google is like So, I'm going to end my presentation with this quote One man's magic is another man's giving magically lands you a job in the country where everybody's freaking out about unemployment. Let's just talk about how. Engineering kind of makes the impossible possible, like taking the knowledge we know and applying it and making something great that drives the world forward. That's what it's all about. And that's what well, I really got into. And hopefully, I inspired you guys that it would be good to do. Learn that she was interested in engineering. Ooh. Um, I don't know. I've always been into like math and science kind of stuff. But. Um, to me, I think when I was in eighth grade and I was walking around, you it just hit me. I, I can't really, I can't think of the time I first got interested in it, but that definitely was like, that was a good moment for me. That's what it started me off. So what, what, what college? Um, actually, we haven't like decided yet, but it's out of MIT, Berkeley, and Georgia Tech right now. Okay. No Purdue, huh? Do. <laughs> <laughs> Any more questions? If not, we want to thank Jay. I think it was kind of interesting that 5% actually did that much for yeah. uh, the economic expansion. I feel bad for that 5%. Um, mm -hmm. um, so, but yeah, once again, I want to thank Trey Wise uh, for his taking time out of his Sunday. I know he was pretty busy you know, working on his actual presentation and stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we want to uh, thank you for coming. Um, again, I know I said it was three times. Good morning. Oh, we also...
um, do you see yourself as a role model or do you feel yeah. any extra pressure to excel? I do and I really like it because it makes me be a better person. There's times where, you know, we don't have to make choices, like especially in, at this age, make choices about what's good and what's the right thing to do. And I know, <laughs> you know, I know there's, there's more people than me that like kind of, that depend on me, I feel like there's, I don't know, I just feel like I have to... You've got little sisters on the inhale that will help you. Yeah. So I, I do what I do with my other people, and it makes me a better person. Awesome. 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 Awesome.